Moments after a judge dismissed the opposition's challenge to the passage of the Natural Resource Fund Bill on Monday, Attorney General and Minister of Legal Affairs Annie Nandlal told reporters that his chambers will now be enforcing the cost orders made by the court in all the cases lost by the opposition. Um, I now have a pile of them because it's a series of cases that have been filed by the opposition, all lost, um, right from the CCJ, from the elections petition coming right down. The AG said when frivolous and vexatious actions are filed and the court expresses displeasure, orders for the costs must be paid in full. He highlighted that his chambers can go after the claimant's movable and immovable assets. If that option does not work, there are other steps that can be taken according to him. You can go to imprison them if you can establish that they have the means to pay and they are deliberately not paying. I think that that can be established. These are, are salaried employees. And the, another process that comes to mind is that you can go to their for example, your employers. Nandala claims that he has written letters of demand to the opposition, which were all ignored. Meanwhile, attorney at law Royce Dale Ford, senior counsel, in a telephone interview with this newscast, stated that the majority of the matters are being appealed. His clients will respond appropriately to the attorney general, he said. Most of those matters are under appeal and we will deal with them at the appropriate stage. Over the last two years, the parliamentary opposition has filed a number of cases against government, which they failed to win. Court costs were awarded in each case. Guyana's High Court on Monday upheld the validity of the Natural Resource Fund NRF Act, which was the subject of litigation brought against the government by main parliamentary opposition member Chief Whip Christopher Jones and trade unionist Norris Witter. In December 2021, Opposition MPs dislodged the parliamentary maze from its position at the desk of the clerk of the National Assembly and protested in an attempt to prevent the National Resource Fund bill from being passed. They then claimed that due to the absence of the ceremonial maze, the passage of the bill could not be deemed lawful. In dismissing the application, Justice Navendra Singh ordered each of the applicants to pay $250,000 in costs to each of the respondents. Anil Nandlal, Finance Minister Dr. Ashni Singh, House Speaker Manzur Nadir, Clerk of the National Assembly Sherlock Isaac, and the Parliament Office. On July 28 last, Parliamentarians Christopher Jones, Ganesh Mahi Paul, Sherrod Duncan, Natasha Singh Lewis, Annette Ferguson, Vince Roy Jordan, Tabita Sarabo Haley, and Maureen Philadelphia were all suspended from the National Assembly. They filed legal proceedings to overturn their suspensions, but the matters were dismissed and they were each ordered to pay costs to the tune of $350,000 each to the three defendants on or before February 6, 2023. Tiana Corey reporting for the HGP Nightly News.